Hello and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel, whichever one it may be. And if you are new here, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, do all those wonderful, fabulous things and join me for more of my diamond painting journey here. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. So today I am working on breeze off the ocean where are you by barbara feliski probably said that way wrong but yes we're working on breeze off the ocean i did not grab my mic oh well I don't feel like getting up either. So we'll just deal with it today. Sorry, I'm trying to be more prepared for these videos, but at the same time, I'm trying to get all of my videos done in the same day <laughs> for the week so that I can stay consistent and stay on top of them. And it's hard, it's, it's a struggle. It's a real struggle, let me just tell you. It is a struggle. All right, so Breeze Off the Ocean is actually, it's coming along pretty nice, I like this. Um, we're going to be using this diamond painting tray from Nix's Notions. I love this tray. This is the Tall Boy. This is Vampire's Desire 2023 colorway. And I am going to be using these two pens if they show up. The blue one is from Diamond Art Club. The purple one is from Amazon. The purple one is multi-placing. I've got seven on one side, six on the other. And then this one has the four end single placing on it. I've been trying to get better at using the six. I'm not perfect by any means. No way. No how. I haven't been using the six. This time painting is for me, so I don't fully, I'm not bothered. Like, it looks great as it is kind of thing. Um, what was I doing? Filling putty in my pens. The putty I'm using is from Abby's Diamond Putty and More. This one is chocolate orange. And I'm filling these. I don't really need the seven, but I threw it on my pen because I don't have any more single placers. <laughs> so I went to Hobby Lobby with my mom today and we got the Diamond Art Club pen because I went looking for a single placer and I don't have any more left and I kind of live like busted up all my single placers somehow. I don't know how that happened. It just happened, but I busted them up. Huh. So anyway, we're working on Breeze Off the Ocean. Um, I will show you a full picture of this at the end. I normally start by showing one, but this doesn't really fit on the stand that I have it on, so I have to move it to another location to show the full image. <laughs> Anyway, let's start with E. I thought E. The letter E. And do I want to do two full sections again? I did two sections this morning while I was working on this this beast of a diamond painting. It's not that big, but it's big at the same time. And I'm trying to get as much done as I can in I don't know how I'm going to do this. This feels awkward to me for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm feeling a little awkward. All right. I, yeah, I did two sections of this one this morning while watching TV. My dad and I have been watching haunted locations or just people going and exploring locations together so while we were watching youtube because otherwise i'm stuck listening to his news <laughs> it's it's fine really it's fine so we were watching that this morning and i worked on two sections of this oh i am so sorry just wax that so sorry <laughs> rough all right and yeah it's coming along quite nicely like this has been a beautiful diamond painting to work on i cannot complain about it so if you have this in your stash do consider doing it because 
it hasn't it hasn't been a problem for me at all to work on i've been enjoying every moment of it and it's been easy and nice and i do feel like i'm missing my other pen here <laughs> try to keep them straight like i will try for this video to work on keeping them straight but i make no promises on how straight they will be and i hope it doesn't bother anybody if it does i'm so sorry look away <laughs> Just listen to the sound of my voice. All right, so this is a whip and chat. Whip stands for work in progress. This is my current work in progress that I am actively working on. And actually it's the only diamond painting I'm currently working on. I was doing another diamond painting. This is also an Amazon pen, by the way. Uh, and they both glow in the dark. They're beautiful pens. And they glow in the dark and it's really fun at night. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, actively. This is the only one I am actively working on. And um, it's been fun. Let me put this other section back down being and it's been fun um working on this one it's been easy i think i said in one in my um october finishes video that i showed my current whips and this one and there was another one and my cross i mean i am working on the cross stitches but not the other diamond painting. Like I have not placed the drill on that diamond painting uh, since I kit it up, quite honestly. <laughs> like I took the time to get it up and I have not placed any more drills on it. I don't think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I was going to do it for the bingo card that I'm working on, but I don't think it actually fits the picture that, or the, bingo slot that I was working on so I feel like I'm just like passing out the passing around these pens a little bit here that's right but anyway I don't feel like it it fits the can you come off the pen thank you <laughs> fits the bingo card the, not the card but the, the square that um, I originally chose it for which was winter and I looked more closely at the image and it's not really a winter image. It's kind of a summery image. So <laughs> I might need to go with a more wintry image. I don't think I'm gonna get into the Randall Spangler that I just unboxed on Sunday because that thing is just massive and I just, I do not feel like getting into a massive endeavor like that at this current point in time. Um, we'll see how things go. We've got Thanksgiving coming up on Thursday already. And yeah. So we will see how things go. Um, as far as that. <laughs> the move is still happening. I just like, I feel like it's one of those things like I keep saying, oh, we're gonna be moving, we're gonna be moving, but it hasn't happened yet. It takes a long time to actually move, like to find a house, buy the house, and move into the house. And it's just, it's more of the, selling the current house that's been our struggle a little bit here and we're trying we're still trying so that is still going on but I'm not really going to focus on that too much in this particular video <laughs> but in so saying we are more ready now than we have ever been so like come on just do it I have to apply for jobs today too 
so that's that's gonna happen and if I get a job I don't know what's gonna happen I think I'm gonna live in a camper <laughs> I think my cats and I are just gonna we're just gonna live in a camper me and the cats together it'll be fun with my husband me and my husband and my cats we'll live in a camper together we'll do the camper life you know maybe we'll vlog about it and people can watch us doing the camper life with cats five of them <laughs> five of them in the camper life but then it's then it's one of those things like well, what do we do with all the stuff that's sitting in the storage unit right now like do we get another storage unit when we get up there what do we do with our furniture <laughs> Ah, oh, it's such a struggle. It really is. All right. Now you can pull back. And you can do this E over here. Um, oh, and I'm using this cover minder. I don't remember where I got it from. I want to say it was Crafts with Crashly, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But I want to say it was probably Crafts with Crashly because I've gotten a lot of cover minders from her. Anyway. So yeah. There's that. That's still all going on. My work week was pretty normal. Much better than my last week. I was happy with it. I did not have to worry too much about anything. I was able to just go in and do my job and be happy because I basically set myself up. Basically. And I really don't have like a lot to talk about. I want to try to at least make this a 20 minute whip and chat video just to get it out there. And I think I can pretty easily. So today we had someone come look at the house. I don't know if they came or not. I don't know what happened. It seemed like they weren't here very long. Because I have an alarm system on my house. And I can see when the door has been opened and closed. All of the doors and all of the windows. I can see when they've been opened and closed. And I was able to see that the door had been opened and closed. But there appeared to be only someone in the house for only five minutes. So with that a little worrisome unless they've already seen the house before and they're like yep okay it looks nice still like I don't know but anyway while that was happening though we took my cats out of the house we've been taking the cats out of the house anytime someone comes to see the house. Now previously when we did this, we put them in their cat carriers and for the most part they stayed in their cat carriers. Now a few of them didn't because I would be like, oh, I just want to snuggle my cats. So then they would come out of their carriers and they'd hang out with me. Mostly it was the little one, Mini Man, Rebel. And Peanut was always out of the carrier because Peanut is a big boy. And we only have one big boy carrier. We only have five carriers and we have six cats. So, <laughs> yeah. So Peanut usually ended up being the one to be out of the carrier. And I made that decision pretty much right from the start that he would be the one to not go in a carrier. And he's perfectly fine. They're all harness trained, so penis war. Pe peanut. Peanut. Not the other word. Peanut or a harness. And he was really good. He just chilled on the seat and hung out with me. Um, peanut butter. We call him that. Peanut butter. <laughs> so. But we haven't been able to catch Floof to bring him with us. I think the first time he came with us, and that was the only time. After that, the, the other few times, he ended up hiding on us, and we weren't able to get him into the car. So he, he and Socks, our black cat, have not really 
gone with us all that much. What am I doing? Uh, let's see, I need more of this color. What are you? Are you this color? No, you're 800. I did not let you fall over. I'm going to take you out so I don't tip you because it's open. Um, so we packed, we got them all into the car and my dad made this. He put netting around, I have a Jeep Renegade and we put the two passing back, back passenger seats down. We laid them down and he put netting he made a system and he put it up around the back of my car and we made an opening in the it's not really netting it's it's like chicken fencing and i had gotten it for them to make them an outside play area and he put that around in the back of my car So that the cats are because when we when we travel north we wanted to have the cats be as free in the car as they could be without being loose in the cold car because <laughs> then I can't get in and out of the car as easily and I have cats all over me for <laughs> the entire drive so in the last two times that someone has come to see the house, the cats have gone just into the back of my Jeep through this hole in the fencing that he made. We're able to stick the cats through it, except for one. One cat does not fit <laughs> through this fencing. So today I was like, okay, we'll get socks and we'll get floof first because they're the two most difficult ones to catch we got socks first and I had to and I got her in today last time I tried to get her into this fencing and she actually got loose on me and ended up just being outside for the day this time I got her in and she just chilled oh they're coming in of course they're coming in it's, you know I'm doing a video yeah <laughs> waiting for my phone to charge Ugh. Okay. I don't know why. I sit here. I did take a break in between doing my videos, though, so that could be my fault, but it's just funny, though, because I've been in here waiting for my phone to charge and nobody's come in, and then as soon as I start doing a video, I'm like 20 minutes into it, and somebody comes in. It's just, it's kind of the way, the way things go, right? Anyway, um, we got socks in and then we couldn't get floof. So I got Rebel, I think, in next and then Cookie and then we got Winnie in. And I put Peanut in the car, just in the car because he doesn't fit through the, the hole in the netting because it wasn't big enough for Peanut because Peanut's a big cat. And then we finally they caught floof and we got floof. And I'm going to put him in, and he just, he turned into a fire-breathing dragon. Like, I swear he did. Like, he's this little tiny cat, and he literally turned into a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> and he's hissing and spitting and fighting. But I got him in to the car, and I'm like, okay, as soon as I get him in, maybe he'll settle down. No, he t continued to be a fire-breathing dragon in the back of my car hissing and fighting and just beating everybody else up to the point where I looked back and I had because I had started driving at that point I looked back and he's at the very back of my car by the back door the the lift up door the one that I don't remember what you call that <laughs> there's a name for it but the door that you lift up to open at the very back of a hatchback basically or an SUV because the Jeep Renegade is an SUV and he was all the way there at the back and he was looking out the back window and I the other four cats that were in the back with him 
were squished up against the fencing right next to where I was sitting, just staring at him. And I was like, oh goodness. <laughs> like I've never seen those four get that close to each other up until that point because we had Socks, Rebel, Cookie, and Winnie were all just pressed up against the fencing just staring at Floof like and anytime any of them moved he would literally turn into a little fire breathing dragon in the back seat but the rest of the time he didn't seem to care he was just looking out the window and just like whatever it was just that if anybody moved he wasn't happy we had decided that my dad would sit in the car with the cats and my mom and I were going to go into Michael's and look and see if we could find, I was honestly looking for a metal single placer. They don't have them, but that's kind of what I wanted was a nice metal single placer. I'll have to order one off of Amazon. And so we went into Michael's and we found the Christmas kits. And then finally we found the regular kits and they have pens. They definitely have pens. Like Michael's had this pretty cool looking LED pen set that had multiple placers with it and they, I, they might have been metal. I didn't get it. I didn't know how much it was because it didn't have a price tag on it. So I didn't get it. And we went out to the car and actually before we went into Michael's, I said, this isn't working with Floof. We've got to get him out of the back. Now we brought a cat carrier along because we just had a bad feeling about Floof, the way he was acting when we put him in. So we got Floof, actually, it took, it took me getting three other cats out first, and then finally I got Floof out and put the other cats back in. Because I made another small opening in the, the uh, fencing right by the, the driver's seat so that if when I'm driving on this big drive that we eventually have to do, I can just reach back and put food and stuff in with them instead of through the opening that we made to get them into the vehicle. So we got them out, we got the others back in, even Peanut went back into the back and Floof was in the front seat and my mother and I went to Michael's, we came out and then we said we're going to go to Hobby Lobby because it's right across the street, we'll check there. There's also a Joann's right in the same plaza, it's really handy, <laughs> it's a really handy, really nice plaza to have close by, but yeah, so we went across the street, we parked and I decided to leave the car on because Floof was really hot. And he kept sitting in the, the window of the car and I didn't want him to be too hot. And since my dad was staying with the car anyway, he just decided he wasn't going to sit in my car with the cats. He was going to sit in his car and just watch my car <laughs> with the cats. Now, I have done this plenty of times before where I have left the keys in the car and I've walked away and I've locked the car in the car on locks. So I said, it should be fine. I've left the keys in the car. This is no big deal. So we left the keys in the car. Now the only difference about when I left the keys in the car before <laughs> to this time is that the car was not running before. This time it was running. So we left the keys in the car. We left the car unlocked and we went in because I was like, oh, it's fine. Like I've never had a problem. Like the car doesn't lock with the keys inside. If the car is running, the car locks with the keys inside. <laughs> this was discovered today when Floof hit the lock button and locked the car because he was in the front of the car with the ability to hit the buttons. I was more worried about him hitting the the button to put the window up and down and getting out of the car than I was about him hitting the lock button. But no, he hit the lock button and <laughs> locked the car. Ugh, so 
my mom and I still, we checked, we found the, the pen while my dad tried to figure out if he could get into the car. Uh, <laughs> and we got out and sure enough, car's locked. So my mom and I drove back to the house, which at that point it had been plenty of time. Got my spare keys, went back, unlocked the key car, and then I discovered that one of my other cats had actually managed to get herself out of the back area, showing us that maybe the back fencing needs to have a little work done to it because she was able to get to the front. Now she is the tiniest little wafer of a cat, weighing only about, I think she weighs about five to six pounds right now. She still isn't very much. She got down to four pounds. She was scaring me a little bit. I had to do some little tips and tricks with her to get her to gain weight. Because she, she was tiny. Now, so she, being tiny, she's the smallest cat in the car. And she just managed to find a place to get herself out. And <clears throat> to the front of the car. And so my dad came with me for the ride back home because I needed to get gas. And now I had two cars in the cabin part of the car. Two cats, not two cars. Two cats in the cabin part of the car. So he held the cats while I got out and got gas. And then we drove home. And when we got back to the house with all these cats, we're like, well, how are we gonna get all of these cats now out of the car? See, last time I just opened up the center section and we just took them into the house one by one. But this time, we had pretty much well tied up that center section so that they couldn't get themselves back through. Whereas last time I was just letting them come back and forth as they please. Was that actually this color? Yes, okay. As they please, do a little straightening here. And yeah, so <laughs> uh, we decided we're gonna take Floof and Cookie and get them in because they were in the front they were in the, the cabin part of the car in the driver's side and the passenger side. And we got Floof. We, strugg like, we struggled to get Floof for some reason. He just all of a sudden decided he really didn't want to leave the car. So he was going to just hang out in the car. I don't know why. Like, he really chilled. After we separated him from the other cats, he chilled. He was fine. And when it was just him and Cookie, he was fine. He didn't have any issues with Cookie. So it was, it was more, I think, Winnie. He does not like Winnie at all. And the fact that she was right there when I put him in, I think that really bothered him. So, yeah, that, that I think was more the problem of it. I don't think Floof really has any issues with any of the other cats in our house. <clears throat> we haven't had any issues with him, with any of the other cats. He and his brother were having a good grooming session last night, so we know he's good with at least Peanut, and now I know he's good with Cookie. So, yeah, because <laughs> they were in the front. But he decided he did not want to leave the car, so he was fighting with us on getting him out of the car. And Cookie, because of where she was, couldn't actually move because Floof was in her way. <laughs> So until he decided he was going to leave the car, and she was stuck <laughs> and couldn't move. But Rebel had figured out that we were home. And up until this point, hadn't been doing anything except meowing in the back. Well, he saw Cookie. However, she got out. He saw it, and he said, well, I know how to get over there. And he came right up into my face. And I was like, what, Rebel? <laughs> So he was, he was super fast with that. He's a very smart cat. So when they say orange cats share one brain cell, well, apparently Rebel just has it all the time. And he just, because <laughs> he's too smart. He thinks about things. He's learned how to open the doors in our house. Like, he's just, he's a really smart cat. The only problem is, is that he has no sense of balance. I have never seen a cat fall as much as he falls. Normally when a cat falls off something, they adjust themselves midair and they land in a normal way. Not Rebel, this cat literally falls. Like, I don't understand it. He's super smart, but he can't figure out gravity. 
I don't know. Maybe there's just something wrong with his spinal column. We don't think he's going to have a very happy... He's going to have a he's going to have a lot of problems when he gets older, for sure. He's going to have a lot of arthritis and stuff from all of the the bumps and bruises that he's gotten. He's fine. He's perfectly fine. Like he's he's been checked and stuff. So don't worry. He's he's good. He's just he's going to have a rough life cuz he's gotten a few bumps and bruises. But at the same time, he's just so smart. <laughs> so he was right there in my face, ready to get out of the car. So, like, we're trying to get Cookie. So I hand Cookie to my dad, and Cookie turns into a slippery, slithery snake and gets out of his arms. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> like, what are we going to have to deal with now? But luckily, he was able to just scoop her right up real quick. So it, it was good. It was good. But it was, it was some cat drama going on in this house today. I tell you. Cats. <laughs> Did it to myself. I'm the one that has this many cats. <laughs> but they are fun. They are, they really are. Like I don't I don't imagine my life any other way now. <laughs> like now that I've had this many, I don't think I will ever I can't say I won't ever have this many again, but I wouldn't choose to have this many ever again. I think I'd stop at 4. Because 4 was a, a perfectly comfortable number to have. And then when we added the fifth one, it really changed the dynamic in our house. Like, is four, they were comfortable with each other. They were okay being together. And five, maybe it's the cat that we brought in because we brought in Rebel and he's a troublemaker and he was named aptly. So, you know, like maybe, maybe it's that because nobody seems to care about Winnie and she came in on her own. The difference between Winnie and Rebel, though, is that I kind of felt bad for Rebel, so he kind of got introduced a little bit improperly, according to the Jackson Galaxy way. I'm not saying I didn't try, it's just when I introduced Flu from Peanut to Cookie and Socks, it took a whole month. And with Rebel, we pretty much had him introduced with a week in a week. So I think maybe we just jumped too quickly with him. But at the same time, he was by himself as a kitten. And I just felt bad. And I didn't want him to be totally by himself all the time. So he, I wanted him to have friends. And honestly, I would have been fine with just like him and Peanut. Peanut is the most accepting cat in the world like he really is he is the best we have a stray cat outside and all of our cats have pretty much accepted the stray cat like they they don't care <laughs> he's he's here he lives here they're like whatever you're always here anyway so all of our cats have pretty much accepted him but there's another cat she's not really a stray i think she belongs to the house behind us but we're not 100 percent sure on that and she comes in our yard and eats food because she's always starving and she was severely underweight. So I don't, if she does belong to them, I don't think they're taking good care of her and I feel bad about that. Uh, I went one too far, so I have to go down on that. But, um, I hear a cat crying. Weird. But anyway, Peanut, our most accepting cat, the other day, yesterday, actually, all the cats got out. And Cookie was out. Socks was out. Peanut was out. And Floof was out. And Socks, we... You know what? I just realized this. I'm not even showing what I'm working on right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just working away, you know? Like, just diamond painting away. And you guys can't even see it. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> And I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about it. So, here we are. Let me continue diamond painting away. Alright. So, yeah. Um, Peanut. Peanut got out. 
Fluff, get out. Socks, get out. Well, Socks decided to chase this cute little cat out of our yard. And she, instead of chasing her out of the yard, she just started beating the crap out of her. So I went to get Socks to get her away from this cute little cat. And I go over and this cute little cat is pressed up against Peanut. Just laying in these high grass that we have at the back of our property and socks is like hissing at her and peanut is like what the heck is wrong with you and it's like peanut there is a sh weird cat pressed up against you and you don't even care <laughs> just laying down with you and he doesn't care like he's the most accepting cat and maybe he just didn't even realize that she was not one of the cats that lives here because we have so many. I don't know, but yeah. And I am so sorry for not showing a lot of this on camera as I was working on it because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And normally you set it up so that you can see. Does this show even the whole section I was working on? Maybe. Probably not. But I think I'm going to end it there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my cat stories, even without seeing any actual diamond painting going on. <laughs> Maybe I'll redo this. Probably not going to redo this. It's probably going to be the video that's going to go up on Wednesday. So it is what it is. And I'm really sorry about that. But let me show you this full canvas. Let me get this in its container. Can you go in the container? These drills are just ever so slightly staticky. They haven't been horrible, but they're just ever so slightly staticky. Just a tiny bit, which is kind of nice because they kind of jump onto the pen on their own. <laughs> they're just like, okay, you want us to be on the pen? Sure. Boom, we're there. <laughs> it's been kind of super, super easy. Like I said, this has been one of the most easy diamond paintings I have worked on in a while, especially considering the fact that it's a square. <laughs> it's a square, and it's been one of the most easy diamond paintings I've worked on. Okay, let me see if I can show this. No, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to drop this on the floor. So I'll be right back and show you the whole thing, <laughs> the whole thing, as it is, okay? Okay. Here we go. Let me zoom in. Oops, let me not cover the camera with my hands. Zoom in, zoom out. There we go. There is the whole canvas as it is right now. This is turning out really beautiful. Like, just look at that section that's completed already. Don't look at my mistake. Shh, don't, don't see my mistakes, though. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah, no, it's like, you can see how just beautiful it is. Even with my mistakes, it's still a beautiful, beautiful canvas so far. And it's just coming out so nice and I can't wait to finish it. And it's, I haven't been working on it even that long and I'm already on the second row. So I do feel like this one's working up really fast, really quick. I hope to get it done by November. We'll see. But yeah, this is Breeze Off the Ocean from Dreamer Designs. This is a beautiful kit. And um, I know, I think it's still available on their site too. Yeah, you can still purchase this if you wanted to. It's still available. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope it wasn't too horrible without seeing me actually diamond paint. But <laughs> thank you.